So I'm out on the farm today. We're uh, going to go through the motions for picking up deadheads. What I have over here, I'm going to show you guys here in a second, is a dumping grounds. Now my theory is that this is a dumping grounds for the Ohio Department of Transportation. What they're doing is they're picking up deer that get hit along the highway and they're dumping them here on this side road. And there's a couple of side roads where they've been doing this. At. I got a buck over here though. Now in Ohio, you can pick up deadheads from does with no issue, but we got a buck over here. He's a small buck, but we got a buck over here. And whenever they got antlers on their uh, heads, you got to uh, have a salvage permit. And I would advise anybody that wants to go out doing this kind of thing to get a salvage permit anyway. So we're going to go through the motions today. I'm out here on the location and got the deer here right beside the truck. We're going to write down the exact location that these deer are at. We're going to take some photos of them. Then we're going to head out into the countryside and uh, visit my buddy out at the Ohio De uh, Department of Natural Resources office. And we're going to obtain a salvage permit where we can go all over the area, anywhere in this area, and be able to obtain these deer uh, the legal way. So... We're going to get out here. We're going to take a look at these deer. I'll show you the dumping grounds, and then we're going to head on out to the office and go through the motions out there uh, just, just to get it all on film, all right? So let's check these guys out. It's very fucking windy out here. So we got the main highway running right along here. We got this old country road out here, and here's the dumping grounds. So this is where they've been bringing them out here, and they've been bringing them out here for a while. This is a buck right here, and... Uh, yeah, you can see where the antler's been broke off. We have another deer laying over here. We have bones scattered all the way up through the tree line where animals have been getting them. So this is a common dumping grounds. Like, they've been coming out here for quite a while doing this. So we got a buck here. Uh, you can see how the rack's been busted off of him. Uh, I don't think that it was cut off. It was actually busted off. We got another buck over here, though, that still has the rack on him. So we're going to see if we can harvest that today. And then we got some clean skulls, like you said, like you said, this has been happening out here for a while. It's a couple of years of dumping. So, uh, we got, we're going to get pictures of them. We got to take photos so we can show the office. And then we're going to go through here and see what all's up in this tree line. I got bones going all the way up through the trees there. Uh, coyotes dragging shit around. There might be another skull up in there somewhere. We got a young, young one here. Uh, and they just all over the place so let me get the photos we're gonna head on, on off to the office the farm is right over there on the other side of that woods so uh, this ain't too far from the old homestead sorry about the wind guys but we're gonna see if we can get this head off of this deer today but we're going to we gotta stop by the office wide open spaces ain't nothing blocking that wind at all Let's hop back in the truck, head on over to the office, see if we can come back and grab this deer. Old Stone Road, boy. This office is way the fuck out here in the middle of nowhere. Hopefully somebody's around today. It is a Sunday, so I don't know if anybody's going to be at the office or not. If they're not here today, then I got a buddy I can call. And uh, we can check on our permit. First thing to try is to stop here at the main office and see what we can do about obtaining a deadhead permit or a salvage permit whatever you want to call it and see if we can go pick up that buck i don't know if we're going to be able to do it today or not not going as smoothly as planned so there's nobody here at the office uh, there's a lot of hunters out today so they might be patrolling nobody here at the office so i'm going to head down to the farm and see if i can just call my buddy and find out about obtaining that permit i just don't know if i'm gonna be able to get a hold of anybody on a sunday that's my only problem is the day uh either way the buck ain't going nowhere uh there's skulls i mean clean bones bleach bones old old bones out there at that dumping grounds and that's not the only place like there's um several places just like that you, you got the main highway and then on those tree lines right on those side roads they're just dumping them there i guess and it's saving the state from having to take them to a local landfill and dump them i don't like i don't like the notion because of chronic waste disease and other things like that but if we can go out there and harvest us some deadheads and uh you know get the racks all the better i'll go out there and cut them off but we want to make sure we do it the legal way so until i get in touch with somebody i'm hoping that buck stays right where it's at with all the hunters and everything that's around right now 
somebody might stop. And technically, as far as I know, if anybody stops and takes that uh, deadhead without a permit, that's uh, it's the same charge as poaching. It's the same as poaching. So if you come across a dead deer on the highway, side road, or even whenever you're out hiking or anything like that, if it's got a rack on it, you have to have a permit. I had a permit for Cuyahoga County uh, and doing everything up there, but I'm not in Cuyahoga County. And with each county in your state, you should check with your local department and make sure that the local ordinances are, you know, not different from the state level. Uh, as far as I know, every county in my state, you have to have a permit to get, uh, to take a skull that has a rack on it. So the does, fine. You can grab those all day long, every day. Nobody's going to say anything. But if they find you with a, a, a buck skull or a buck dead head and you don't have a permit to pick that, that thing up, they're going to charge you with poaching. So just be careful before you go out and do all this shit. That's why we're going through all the motions today. We just want to kind of document the process. So I found the buck. I took pictures of it. I got the location and everything. Uh, I come out here to the office. There ain't nobody at the office because it's a Sunday. So we're going to go ahead and go call the manager, who's a buddy of mine. I ain't talked to him in a while, so it'll be nice to catch up with him. We're going to call him and see if we can go ahead and get our local permit to pick up deadheads. I only need one permit. And then whenever you find them, you can always write down the information like the location you found it and stuff like that and turn that into your Department of Natural Resources to help with you know, the science part of it, the population and all of that. But for now, the only thing that I can do since there's nobody here at the main office is go back to the farm, make a couple of calls, see if we can pick up that permit today or tomorrow. Maybe I can even meet him out at the dump site and say, look, you know, if this is what's going on, I'll come out here and help clean it up because I'll just take the deer. Like I'll have them just dump it instead of dumping them off there at the highway. I'll just have them dump them off at the farm. Like we have a like four fence rows so they can dump them off along those fence rows if they choose to i'm sure it's easier for them just dumping it along the tree line along the highway but if they don't want to dump it along our fence rows then they just stay back there until nature does its business and cleans them up and then i go out there and retrieve them it's a win-win so heading back to the farm now, gonna make a couple of calls, do this all legal right, you know, chronicle it up for the YouTube video so we have something to talk about on the live stream. Uh, that was the whole point of doing all this. Otherwise I just fucking went and done it, but uh yeah. Man, there is hunters at every spot. There be a hunter. Next one down be a hunter. This is all public hunting land out here. It's a game preserve on one side, public hunting land on another. So every place there's a, a, a spot to pull off of the road and get back into the woods and hunt. This this place is haunted like crazy. Actually got three hunters back there. It looks like a hunting party. So probably all in the same crew. They're just driving out the field right now from the looks of it. Just the same crew parking in different spots. Go back there, drive the woods out, and then drive the fields out, see what they can kick up. Hunting season in full swing around here. And as you can see, it's cold as fuck. Anyway, we're going to head back to the old homestead and make these calls. If I don't get anywhere today, at least we can pick the story up a little bit later. But we're getting the whole process down on, on video so y'all know. There are a lot of stupid fucking people out there just take advantage of uh, the outdoors and they don't do this shit the legal way. And I just don't know of, now I, I don't know a lot about every state, but I just don't know of any state where you don't have to have a permit to obtain a deadhead. I would definitely double check with your local office, wildlife manager, whoever you can get in touch with. Even your local sheriff station might be able to let you know uh, if you can pick up deadheads, especially bucks that still have the rack on the skull that's the big that's the big thing because you don't want to get charged with poaching for uh you know picking up something along the road so make sure you do it the legal way make sure you do it all right we're gonna get back to to the uh homestead and make these calls and we're gonna do it that way we'll pick this up a little bit later